Currently in my house we have one television. I have two TVs. One, two. I own one television in my house, although I have lived in a house with three televisions before. I own three televisions. I own about seven. <laughs> in this unit we're looking at television. Love it or hate it, TV plays a very large part in many people's lives nowadays and everyone's a critic. But do we really know as much about what goes into making a TV programme as we think we do? Now, who comes up with the ideas for TV programmes? Well, you have um, development departments in most TV production companies and those people will sit around and they will brainstorm ideas and it's usually ideas that are related to what's been in the press recently um, or otherwise sometimes uh, people at the channel who are the people who commission the programmes to be made will say we want something specifically about say people learning to drive. Is there such a thing as a fresh idea in TV these days? It's very, it's very difficult. So many ideas are pitched every single day by every independent production company to each TV channel, most of which are turned down and occasionally some are accepted and they go on to be programmes. Um, so it's kind of, it's throwing a lot of things at them and seeing what sticks, as they say. So do you think that ideas are often recycled in programme making? Absolutely. Recycling programmes is one of the best ways of, of doing things really in terms of scheduling because it's a guaranteed way of getting viewers. If viewers recognise, say, the name of a programme that they've seen before that's been brought back or if they recognise a format that they've seen before, certainly fam family orientated programmes, um, that's definitely the case. It's kind of almost guaranteed way of getting lots of people to watch it. Um, on TV, I like watching uh, entertainment shows, reality TV, um, a bit of sports. Uh, music channels mainly. I, mean, I don't really watch anything else. Like sort of DIY sort of things. Because I'm quite creative, I do sort of like interior designing and all the rest of it. So. Well, I prefer watching things like sport on TV, like cricket matches or football matches. If I'm not watching that, I'll watch something like a comedy show. I tend not to watch too much television. I have lots of work to do and things like that. Do you think TV has a positive influence on us in general? I would say it's neither a positive or a negative influence, really. Um, you know, you can equate it to people sort of blaming films for violent crime and things. I think there are both positive and negative things that come out of all TV programmes and all films. So do you feel that TV programme makers have a responsibility to educate viewers? I think it depends what sort of programmes you're talking about. Um, we have probably as much responsibility to entertain the nation as we do to educate. Um, obviously there are lots of programmes made for people who are in school and their job obviously is to to educate. The programmes I make, I make a lot of documentaries and so that's a form of education I suppose. It's telling a story of something that has actually happened and it's telling it in the most engaging way, in a way that people will hopefully sort of remember. So that's I suppose is a form of education and certainly you know if, if people go away having learnt something then that's fantastic. We should get rid of reality television because it's pointless. A bit more educational programmes for children really because it's not enough, it's all violence in that at the moment, so. Um, I'd like to see more of uh, sort of programmes in Africa and things like that to get across poverty and things, because I'm a bit big on that. 